career chats. These chats are a great opportunity for you to get to know different employers and industries around the world. As you listen to the chat, if you have questions, you can type them in the chat window down in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. We will have time to answer your questions at the end of the presentation. For today's career chat, we are pleased to welcome Philip Grobler, who is the Director of Human Resources at Deloitte for East Africa. Deloitte is one of the top consulting firms in the world. Philip is in Nairobi, and I happen to be in India today, so we have a little bit of a delay between me and Philip. Please bear with us with the delay. Philip, we welcome you to our career chat today. Could you please share with us a little bit about your background? A pleasure, Scott, and great to be part of this, and good day. Uh, I started my career in human resources many years back. Uh, there is a lack of hair on my head. That doesn't matter. I have worked across the professional services industry quite extensively. I have worked, interesting enough, for a firm called Arthur Anderson for about six years, and I've been with Deloitte now for about 12 years, and it's great for me to be in a professional services organization, working with people with high intellect uh, and working with clients who expect a lot. Thank you, Scott. Thank you, Philip. You have quite an interesting background and some great companies that you've worked for. Can you tell us now a little bit about Deloitte? What is Deloitte and what services does it provide? And what are some of the values of the organization? A pleasure, Scott. Interesting enough, Deloitte currently is the largest professional services firm in the world. Um, revenues probably of around 32 billion US. And we are one of about 150 countries where Deloitte operates across the globe. We have about 210, 200 employees working across the globe. So we always say that when you join Deloitte, you join a family of over 200,000 people. Can you imagine? We can take that knowledge to the client. And when we talk with clients, when they ask us, what is your unique difference? We can always say all this multitude and multicultural groupings together to deliver an exceptional service and solution to a client. So we cover things like advisory, Advisory will be a bucket where you would have consulting sitting, financial advisory, and enterprise risk services. And just to give you a quick rundown maybe around what we do in the consulting space. In consulting, there would be human capital consulting, there would be public sector consulting, and there would be strategy and operation, and something called technology advisory, where we help clients with technology solutions. Then, of course, in financial advisory, you have business support services, corporate finance, uh, forensic services, and um, call it corporate secretarial and registration stuff, where we help people who want to go to a stock exchange, get listed, and support them in their administration. As far as enterprise risk services are concerned, you would have things like corporate governance, security, sustainability and a big new field which is growing across the globe extensively is called data analytics um, that's the sort of new industry that people like to see that whether you have people that can support data analytics it's just mining the data of organizations to a better level everybody's got lots of information it's how you mine that information and then of course the bedrock of the organization deloitte would not be where it is today if it is not for the audit side of the business. Audit is really the foundation and all these other parts have grown out of audit but audit is our main base and that's probably where our regular let's call it annuity income comes from over extended period of time. And then of course tax services. Uh, organizations need advice on corporate tax, value added tax, transfer, etc. And then if I go to Deloitte in particular, 
in East Africa. Um, the goal of the organization here, yeah, covering roughly eight countries, is an actual fact to grow the business to 200 million US dollars by the year 20. So by 2020, we want to be a 200 million dollar organization covering all these countries. And the beauty of Deloitte is, is that you have these amazing countries that we work in. And behind me, if you could see, it's some of the landscape pictures of Kenya. And um, that's what you see around you. And even in these other countries like Burundi, Rwanda, uh, Uganda, uh, Tanzania, and to name just a few. So it's an exciting place to work. We have great intellect here, the intellect that join us in East Africa. Uh, interestingly enough, many people that are locals, but many locals that have gone to study at universities in the United Kingdom, in the US, and then return their expertise to add value to our clients in East Africa. So there's a lot of mobility opportunities, people going away for a couple of years and then come back, and it's a very exciting place to be. Yes. Um, Scott. Tell us a little bit about the values of the organization. Good. In terms of values, and I'll go to that slide. Uh, our vision is really, as you can see on the, the screen, for those of you that have a screen in front of them, we aspire to be the standard of excellence and the first choice of the most sought after clients and talent. So we would like clients to come to us and feel that Deloitte is going to give them a standard of excellent service as well as talent joining us because we like talent to feel that they can grow and develop in the Deloitte environment faster than they would anywhere else. And often I think of young people when you're growing and developing there's less chance of you looking at what other jobs are there out and what else can I go and do. So we really invest significant amounts of money help and grow people. We have four values that have been with us for a very long time and it's really the cement and the glue that holds the organization together. The sort of behaviors that we would expect of people that become Deloitians, integrity, outstanding value to markets and clients, commitment to each other and strength from cultural diversity. And the one that always stands out to me is the one commitment to each other. It's really uh, an indication of working together, working in team, making sure that you always support your colleague, whether it is on a work assignment, whether it is even after work, support colleagues, help colleagues work together towards an overall team ethos. And recently, interestingly enough, we developed a purpose statement. And a purpose statement for Deloitte is something that you could say if you re meet a CEO in a lift, like your elevator pitch. If the CEO asks you, what do you do at Deloitte? Simple statement, making an impact that matters. That, that, is, that is great. I love the vision and values. Integrity is so important. It's one of our core values here at Node as well. And the commitment of others just really fits in with the uh, the teamwork that we aspire and teach our our nodies. I, I really appreciate that. Yeah. What can you tell us about the consulting industry as well as the industries where you provide consulting services? Right. Um, I mentioned earlier that consulting covers a wide range of environments, but interesting enough, across the globe, whether you join Deloitte in New Zealand, join Deloitte in Russia, China, wherever it could be, the sort of services that they would normally offer would be human capital or talent solutions for clients, and that could range from remuneration surveys, from helping recruit talent into organizations, uh, yeah, in East Africa, our big areas is public sector consulting in called third world and developing countries. There's a great need to upskill the public sector and support them. 
when it comes to strategy and operations, uh, interesting thing is many organizations that have worked and matured over time might have a certain operating model and we have consultants that can go in and propose a new model to make the organization much more efficient and much more profitable. So we have worked with a variety of organizations in East Africa and across the globe. Uh, many of them very big and stock listed organizations across the globe in the various stock exchanges and help them be successful both internally in the internal operations as well as their let's say their picture and their voice to their customer improving all those and then of course technology advisory that i chatted to a guy yesterday and i asked him what's so special in your view about kenya and he was a dutch diplomat is a dutch diplomat and he interestingly said he came from Holland to Kenya to work in the diplomatic corps and he realized that in Holland and in many other countries of the world people had PCs which sort of they went through the PC step and then onto smartphones. What happened in East Africa and in particular in Kenya is that there was never a step called a personal computer. People went directly and skipped the personal computer directly to smartphones. And that's why so many very interesting um, new ideas, banking ideas, etc., have been developed just using a smartphone. So in the consulting space, lots of opportunities, lots of creativity, and ways to do things differently. Thank you, Scott. Yeah, that's that is really interesting how it's so different in each country. And uh, when I visited Africa last year, it was amazing how many people just have smartphones and, and yet don't have a lot of background on computers. So you're absolutely right. If you've just joined us, uh, we have with us Philip Grobler, who's the Human Resource Director at Deloitte. And um, he's in Africa and I'm in India. And so there's a little bit of a delay. Uh, so again, be patient with us on that. Um, we're really glad to have him with us though. Uh, what are you looking for, Philip, for, uh, from college graduates and what type of skills do they need to possess to be successful at Deloitte? Um, I'll go to that slide, Scott. I just wanted to refer the viewers that in actual fact there is a slide that gives you a picture of where the growth markets are for the organization in Deloitte East Africa. So in your own time you can look at that uh, and one of the really big areas is the energy and resources sector where you have lots of oil discoveries, gas discoveries in, in East Africa, uh, mining, some new coal developments and lots of utility, energy, etc. and so forth. Uh, I'll move slowly into the next slide to answer your question as to the skills and type of people. Scott? Makes me hungry. So the sort of, yes, we are all hungry. And I think if you look at that, a pizza box is, box is normally square. Uh, but the pizza normally comes out around. So what we're looking for in some way is people are creative who can think on their feet, who can, on the spur of the moment, take a decision to the advantage of the client ultimately. And I want to tell you a very quick story. We had one of our partners in South Africa that was on the way to a very big client, uh, a cell phone company, very large cell phone company that's across the whole of Africa. And on her way, her car broke down and she had the new proposal for a project under her arm. She got out of the car, didn't know what to do. And it was probably 20 minutes, 30 minutes away before she had to get to the meeting at the cell phone company. She creatively saw that there was a pizza delivery place next door. She went inside and said, if I order a pizza, because you say free delivery, can you deliver me and the pizza to the client who's 15 minutes up the road? They quickly made the pizza. She paid. She went off to the client and arrived in the boardroom with a warm pizza and the proposal. And guess what? Deloitte won the proposal. Small thing, story, but thinking on your feet 
and doing things outside the box. That's a story to share. The other sort of competencies, if I can put it that way, that we look for in people. Uh, we spoke about commitment to each other earlier, which shows very strongly towards teamwork. Um, accounting, as I mentioned right in the beginning, or working and being able to manipulate work with numbers is critical. Um, working and developing people's potential, coming with the right attitude to the organization. Strong interpersonal skills, which can also be developed, communication skills, a, a curious mind, somebody that asks the question, why do this, can't we do it differently? Is there not a better way, for instance? Uh, being analytical, uh, being able to multitask, uh, in, in some way having strong computer technology skills. And um, if you have a combination of those, and I'm not saying those, we look for people that can grow and develop in our environment. And to give you a sense, we have recruited nuclear scientists. We've recruited concert pianists. We've recruited people from all walks of life. Currently, a significant amount of engineering students join Deloitte. And that was nowhere near anything similar about 10 or 20 years ago. Um, you now have us being able to accommodate probably any degree course that you can find, and I mean that respectfully in the planet, can join Deloitte and as needed. Thank you, Scott. Great, great, thank you. I have uh, one more question from, my, from me, and then we've got some that have come in from the participants. Um, just share with us what type of opportunities, you've talked a little bit about this already, are available in the industry and, and particularly with Deloitte. Um, I think just, Scott, just before I go there, just to give you a sense from a career progression point of view, because maybe that's a picture that one must also sketch. Normally in Deloitte globally, one joins and you would join as maybe an analyst or an associate. That is at the lower rung of the ladder, if I should like that. And then slowly but surely, two to three years, you could move to become a consultant. You can then become a senior consultant slash manager. Uh, further two or three years, then a manager, two to three years. Then a senior manager around two years. Then a director, two to three years. And then, so by the age of 35, and this is very broadly put within the Deloitte environment, if you aspire to reach partner status, you could become a partner in the organization. All things being equal, delivering exceptional results, really showing that you're part of the team, you could go far in the Deloitte environment. I love that uh, that slide you have there. Looks like so. I'll where move I on. Want to work if you on see, the <laughs> yeah, Scott. Interesting enough, Deloitte did a survey which they do regularly, looking at millennials and the total native world, and what would they expect of an employer, what would they look like of an employer. And one of the very interesting things is that um, they say they would like an organization with a strong vision. And we believe Deloitte has a strong vision. They would like an organization where they can be flexible and work flexible hours to also see, suit their own circumstances. And the reason I like, like you, Scott, and did put it up, is to show and, and to share a, a story with you that happened also in South Africa. Um, we employ a number of actuaries in South Africa and across the globe as well. And actuaries are amazingly clever people. And um, very few people actually reach the status of an actuary. If you become an actuary, you're probably a bit like a plastic surgeon, if I can put those two of roles in a similar category. So this actuary joined us. Uh, and at the end of the interview, he was asked, is there anything else you'd like? to tell us about yourself. I am a provincial representative surfer. And I can't surf at night. I can't practice my art. I need to practice it when the wind is blowing in the right direction, the tides are correct, and the 
the waves are of the right sort of size and then I need to go and surf so very quickly we said well let's negotiate with a client who's a very good a very big life insurance company and see if we can't find a flexible arrangement the life insurance giant came to the party they said you can go and surf for two or three hours but as long as you fish that day whether it is after six nine or ten at night um, we will be flexible and we will allow you and he worked for us for two years on basis and went practicing his art and remained a, what we look at is that internally within Lloyd we need to be flexible and understand other people's needs and wants as well it would have been easy to say no and we might have lost a very talented individual uh, who um, might have gone somewhere else but in reality he found his niche and worked for us for a period of time and enjoyed it on that basis so we really enhance and look at flexibility customizing people's careers in some way also happening at Deloitte is is that sometimes people's circumstances change uh, you might become a mother with a number of kids and you decide you want to dial down in your career meaning to work in the mornings we are flexible we look at how we can accommodate family situations and there are many other sorts of situations that I can give you examples of but flexibility customizing one's career is of importance to us thanks Scott yeah. Thank you. Uh, these have been great answers and uh, great information about Deloitte. There's been a few questions come in. I'm not sure we have time for all of them, but let me let me just pick through some of these. Um, Astrid is asking about women. What is the level of women careers at Deloitte? Is it an equal opportunity company? So what, what about women? Do they have just as much opportunity in Deloitte? Um, Astrid thank you for the question and just I'll give you one or two examples to give you a sense um, Deloitte has just uh, promoted a lady in Australia as the chief executive officer um, she's from the audit practice she moved from the USA to Australia probably about seven or eight years ago and she is now the first lady CEO in in the US um, the US practice has also just employed not employed promoted a female partner to the level of CEO of the overall audit practice I might not have all my facts correct but it's a very senior appointment um, Deloitte has probably about partnership being well and we have strategy place to ensure that we push that up extensively but we're coming from a very low base um, unfortunately the profession in some way is a place where people have struggled in the past but we are trying everything we can like many other organizations to ensure that we make our environment friendly and in actual fact diverse and multicultural friendly hope that answers the question Yes, it does. Thank you. Um, and uh, let's just pick another one here. Uh, Kevin's asking about, uh, you mentioned that you hire those who, that go to the States. Uh, can someone get a job right there in Nairobi or when you hire somebody, do they have to go somewhere else? Um, wh what would normally happen is, is if you have access to the US or any other country and you can study there uh, depending on the period that you have your permit for your visa or your study permit for it has different rules and so forth if they then allow you also to join an organization you can apply to any of the professional services firms if that is the career choice you want to make including Deloitte and of course your application will be considered as within the parameters that we normally look at individuals and as per my condition earlier of the sort of skill sets that we look for in individual and my humble sense to anybody is 
never give up on your first try if you get rejected. Uh, one small quick story, our CEO in South Africa, Indian gentleman of about four or five years back, applied to Deloitte as a young gentleman and he was rejected three or four times, but he didn't give up. He persisted, he finally joined Deloitte and about 25 years after working in the organization, he became the CEO of Deloitte Southern Africa and ultimately moved to London and is on the board of Deloitte in the UK firm, which is an amazing journey, just to give you a sense. So I believe anything is possible. That's a great thing for our notice to understand that anything is possible. I'm just going to, uh, there is a question that came from uh, Lohan Hameen uh, asking about tuition fees and I'm going to ask uh, I'll, him, I'll tell him that we'll have somebody contact him and let him know that's really more of a question for Node as opposed to uh, Deloitte. So we'll have someone contact him directly and answer that question. Let me combine uh, two for kind of the last question. So Astrid also asked, how do you measure skills of new employees during the enrollment process? And then Marquetta was asking uh, about other opportunities for fresh graduates. So let's kind of put those two together. If um, how do you measure the skills of new employees? Are, are there opportunities for fresh graduates in a bachelor's program or a master's program that don't have experience? Um, how do you measure the skills and go through that process? Uh, pleasure. Um, where, when you join Deloitte, most of the offices um, across and countries have similar processes. So you would apply, you would go through an interviewing process, you would probably as part of the interviewing process need to brief presentation so people can get an understanding of your confidence levels and how you would present. Um, they would also in some countries give you fit, etc. Some countries don't do that obviously. Uh, but a standardized process followed and Deloitte regularly takes in uh, probably about 20% of new people every year of between 15 and 20%. To replenish that is a significant amount of people. So you can imagine that there would be both graduate hires and experienced hires. Our graduate hire pool globally is probably around 30 to 35,000 people every year. So in that group, Ply, and to try and, and to go to the question of young graduates, fresh graduates, I think that also answers young graduate, fresh graduate as well, because our audit practice needs people. Uh, youngsters coming through, going the auditing uh, line. Our consulting practice needs people. Our study practice people. Our tech practice needs people. So, so if you've got the right skill set, there should be and will be an opportunity in Deloitte somewhere in the globe. Scott. Thank you very much. It's been wonderful to have you. Um, you've given us a lot to think about. Um, Nodies, thank you for joining us for our Node Career Chat. Stay tuned for upcoming chats. Check out the Facebook page for information about ones that are coming up. Uh, there are a lot more interesting businesses out there that uh, we're going to be scheduling to let you hear from. To discover your fast track to employability, visit our website at node.net and check out the Study at Node page. Until next time, thank you, Philip, and thank you, Nodis, for joining us. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm.